Hello Linux fans, Rob here and welcome to Linux Quest. I am always on a quest to find... Hmm, quest. Where did I come up with that word? That word sounds familiar. <laughs> anyway, I'm always looking for applets and widgets and things like that. And I'm kind of a sucker for weather widgets. I've got them set up on my phone, you know, my main screen. And I'll go in and, and get them set up just right. Uh, for whatever reason, you know, I just... I just like that uh, that kind of simple glance at weather. And so I found something that I wanted to share with you called Medio QT. Now this uh, is QT based. It runs great within the KDE desktop. And at first glance, it's exactly what you think it would be. Uh, you know, it gives you current weather forecast with pressure, humidity, sunrise, sunset, ozone, so on and so forth. Uh, you'll also get a five-day forecast here. Now, the way this works is it ties into Open Weather Map, and so you will need to create an account. It's quick and easy. It's just email and password, and then you'll get a key, an API key, or I'm sorry, just a key. Uh, I don't know that it's actually an API key, but um, anyway, you'll get your, your key. Yes, it is. It's an API key. <laughs> You'll get your key, and once you've got that, you're going to want to copy that, and then you're going to go into Settings. So we're going to right-click, and here you're going to see several things. You'll have Settings, Update, Cities, where you'll set up your various cities, and yes, you can set up more than one city. Then you've got a Temporary City. Uh, the Temporary City comes in handy if you're traveling. Uh, then you've got About here and Exit. But before we jump over into settings, let's go to about because I want to give some credit here to Demetrios. And I am sure that I will not get your last name pronounced correctly. Uh, Glenn Tadakis, perhaps. Uh, so he is the author there. So good job. And if you can see this, we'll scroll here to a list of contributors. I won't read all of those out. But thank you all for your work on MediaQT. All right, we'll go back into settings. So this is where I'm going to go from the bottom, and then I'll jump back to the top. But the open weather map key, this is where you'll paste that key once it's generated from open weather map. Uh, once you've got that in place, you'll go over here into settings, and this will let you set up your various cities. So maybe you commute and you work you know, a city an hour or so away, you could set up uh, your work city and your home city, for example. Now, the next option here is language, and you've got a long list from Portuguese all the way down to Ukrainian, Polish, Portuguese, Romanian, so on and so forth. Next up is temperature units, Celsius, Fahrenheit, etc. Uh, temperature accuracy, update interval, all the way up to 120 minutes. Then you've got an option for launch at startup. So you could toggle that off. And then you've got an option for the color of the font in your tray down here. So, you know, if you've got some specific colors set up or whatever, uh, you can go in and choose really any custom color. So, you know, we could go lime green, for example, just just to uh, kind of point illustrate that. So we'll click Apply, and now we're lime green down here. Or maybe we want to go with uh, a blue that kind of matches the desktop a little more. So we could go and adjust that out. Let's see here. Not that that would show up very well, but you get the idea. All right. I want to go back to white, actually. Um, next up is notification on weather update. You could toggle that on or off. Actually, I'm going to turn that off. And then you've got system tray icon. So you could change this from just temperature to just icon. And you'll see that change there. Or icon and temperature. All right, we're going to go back to just temperature. You can change the font size, adjust that. And you've got an option here for connection by proxy, and then here's your key. So once you've got all this set up, you would click Apply and click OK. 
and then you can left click and you'll go in and you'll see your information. Now Valdez is not actually my city, it's not too far from me, uh, but uh, at any rate you could set up multiple cities. And like I said, it comes in handy if maybe you work, you know, an hour or so away from where you actually live. You could check the weather in both locations. So I think job well done on MedioQT. Just wanted to share this with you. And, uh, you know, if you get into weather applets and things like that, it stays out of your way till you till you want it, uh, which is nice. Now, typically it populates really fast. Did you see that animation? It was kind of slow. I think that's because I'm screen recording. So because otherwise it, it updates kind of instantly so anyway pretty cool thought i'd share it hope that helps and we'll check you later as always thanks for watching